happy Monday, everybody. I hope you guys are having a really, really great day so far. We are going to move on with some core stability for this low back epidemic that we're seeing. Not coronavirus, low back epidemic. The low back epidemic has been going on for a very, very long time. It probably is the biggest culprit in the opioid epidemic that we are seeing where many, 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 many hundreds of thousands of people are taking and or addicted to opioid medication for pain. So if we know that, and we know that movement is helpful in pain amongst other things that we can do, then we need to be focusing more on better movement. And I am here to help you do that. So I am gonna show you guys a plank hold. Now, many of us know what a plank hold is. However, many of us don't know how to do it the right way, or we don't know why we're doing it the wrong way. So when you get into a group class and your trainer says, okay, everybody plank hold, and they walk around, they tell you, you know, to pick your butt up or, you know, whatever cue it is that they choose to use. Sometimes we don't resonate with those cues. So I'm going to give you some other things to think about. Hopefully these will resonate with you. So we're going to start on our elbows. First thing I want you guys to think about in a plank hold is I want your elbows and your hands in line with each other. This is not ideal for the lat position and it doesn't really lend to any stability in the core. So we're going to get you in here, palms flat. If this is troublesome because of flexibility, then go ahead and just turn your hands to the side like a knife edge. So from here, with the hands on the ground, what I want to see you guys do is I want to see you line your head up on your body, and then you're going to push your elbows into the floor. So now we've got stability through the upper part of the torso. The next piece is we're going to create that intra-abdominal pressure, Kegel, ribs down, put pressure through the core, and then we may need to just tuck our buns under a little bit. So here's your setup. You're going to go elbows down, palms flat, okay? From here, I'm gonna tuck my chin into my neck so that my head is in line with my body and I'm gonna push the floor away. So you guys see, push the floor away. I'm not gonna allow myself to sink close to the floor. I'm gonna push it away from my face. Now, if you're uncomfortable here, just walk your knees out and Squeeze your buns under. Here's your plank hold, okay? If you need more challenge, we're gonna pop up onto the toes and we're going to squeeze the buns under. I'm pushing the floor away with my chest or my elbows. I'm squeezing the buns under and I'm reaching my head forward, trying to maintain the straightest line possible. Now, progressively, we can take that up to our hands. Ideally, we wanna be able to hold the plank hold for two minutes. That's a great strength endurance test. So if we wanna do it on our hands, the only thing we're gonna change is when we push our hands into the floor, we're going to pretend like we're trying to open two pickle jars. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna lock the shoulder down using the lat and the shoulder blade. Otherwise, the position is exactly the same. So I put my hands down nice and wide, take up as much surface area as possible. I'm going to spin those pickle cans and I'm gonna try to get my hands really pushing into that floor, reach my feet back and squeeze my bum under. Head is in line with the spine. If you don't know, let your chin fall forward, then pull your chin back. And then you just hold it here. Have someone take a picture of you if you're not sure if you're in a sway back position or use a mirror. Either way, the plank hold is a great strength endurance test. It's great for recovery in the middle of a workout, or if it's the only activity that you have time to do, drop down into a couple plank holds throughout the day and just get yourself stronger. I hope you guys enjoy your planks. Let me know if I can help you out or if anybody that you know needs to do more plank holds, send this their way. Have a really great week.